<coughs> right, here we are. Finally, um, we're in the get ready for this Mercedes Dash Benz 300 SEL 6.8 AMG. It's the world's longest chrome badge on the back of a Mercedes ever. Um, <laughs> been a little bit of a, a mess up because there's no other mer mercs on the track that's down to me so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to let 15 cows pass it's one two three four count along with me five come on children six seven eight nine any more 10, that'll do, right, 11, okay, let's get this race on, 6 laps, so this has got, uh, um, this has got the Escorts awaiting release by Xela, to go into this uh, folder but when I had a look lo and behold XTC I beat him to it and the 2002 BMWs that he did recently are in with the same group so we got the little BMWs to play with and I've thrown the, uh, the Corvettes in and I think they've got BMWs as well but they're slightly slower than their uh, XTCs. In here as well. Okay, so the car itself, first up, let me, uh, let me show you the, uh, the lights. So you can appreciate that dashboard. I think that's one of the slower BMWs. Racing with Corvette. Calm down. Whoa, yeah, I'm getting tangled up here. Here's me trying to give you a tour of the car and race with some crazy plastic American thing. Oh. Okay, drop, drop the hammer. This is what this does so well. And this is what it doesn't do so well. The cornering bit. If you're wondering. So I've got the AI set at 100. And uh, medium aggression. I have had a, a little go with full field of the Mercedes and it's a, a sight and earful <laughs> to behold uh, skins on them are fantastic as you can see all in uh, nice high res nice and shiny and the interior even comes with a uh, Burl Walnut dashboard high gloss Woo. Up with these. Whoa, slipping the clutch. Now, yeah, this is a 1971, so chassis brakes. I would say engine, but it's 420 brake horsepower. Usually torquey thing. Quite slow to rev, but still 420 brake horsepower. Whoa. Suspension is super soft. Brakes are good. makes for some uh, interesting racing and some crazy controllable slip angles Let's get these lights off no let's leave them on let's let's leave them on let me sort myself out when i get on the straight okay so just a little dab of the brakes just to get that slip angle going off the throttle back on the throttle Rev counter is in the middle, the little one. Let's get 
get them lights off. Windscreen wipers, look at that. Fantastic. Trail brake into it, back steps out, get that slip angle on, leave it in fourth. I don't think it's got a fifth gear. It has, mine got. I have not used that, not needed to use that. That's the Autobahn gear. Right, here we go. And I'm gonna try I'm gonna try and keep it in third and use that torque and try not to spin the rears up. Kind of managed it. So the suspension is very soft. Uh, even even the diving on the there you go <laughs> on the brakes. <laughs> but it uh, gives you loads of feedback. It's great fun to drive. Third back steps up with that torque. Bit of counter steer. Let it slip out to the edge. Try and make a move here over this high rising right hander. We can get some traction. Thank you. We've got some traction. Have a bit of a jump. Been left the gap. Brakes. Whoop, got to sap off the guy behind. Left the bike second there. Just looking up the inside. Probably all the way to the edge. And unleash that big Merc engine. And away we go. So back in the day, you would see a lot of club racing. Early touring cars, really, in the UK and around Europe. <coughs> and in the States, everywhere, really. Back when racing was, there was grassroots racing that was cheap to get into. Let's try this third gear again. Nope. That's a third. So what you would have would you'd have minis, escorts, uh, Lotus Cortinas, or little four-pot lightweight things, uh, up against Mark II Jags and Transams and Ford Galaxies, you know, <laughs> big thundering V8s. So you'd have this race on the straights where obviously the big V8s, massive displacements, would just run away with it. And then you get to the corners and all the little lightweight, uh, super fancy chassis cars would then just come tearing through. And that was your racing. A lot of overtaking. It's the big powerful stuff trying to get good exits and laying down the power down the straights and then the, uh, the little stuff. The plucky underdogs coming in with some crazy, uh, crazy moves in the corners. And this is from that era. If you've not seen that before, go on YouTube and have a look at some old club races from the 60s and 70s. A lot of uh, the... Uh, the big Formula One stars, that's where they cut the teeth. In fact, they still have them at uh, Goodwood Festival of Speed. Still run those races. Okay, can we make a move on the, uh, the American? Not sure. So anyway, the, uh, we're going to have the, the flip side of this, which is going to be the Escort. Um, coming out shortly, and we'll cover that when it arrives. Rocky's finishing off the uh, skins for it. Come on, come on, keep traction, keep... Ah, uh, no, 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 yet. As soon as that lands, I will uh, 
get on it, as it were. Okay, I'll put my lights on, it's a bit dark around this side. Okay. We are just taking the Michael now at these slip angles. Change up to third. Mid corner, mid slide. Call me Tiff. Clutch again, getting a little bit lead footed. It's back with me, it's back out there. What is that? Oh, it's the lights and the cars up on the hill coming down. Inside, I messed that up terribly. He's still there. Up, oh, we're okay. Right, let's have a look. Oh yes, there we go. We are position one, lap six, off six. You know what that means, don't you? It's going to be a horrendous crash on this lap. We refuse. We refuse. We shall concentrate. Down to second, uphill, flat cambered. Up to third, mid corner, back end, just these tractions we come up. Grips up as we go over the top of the hill. Up to fourth, quick look out across the valley. There we go. Okay, lifting now, rolling for the first section. Blip and changing down to third. I'm on the brakes. Blip down to second. Just controlling the slide as we go in. Up to third. Torque spins the wheels up. It tightens us up in the corner again. There is a camber there. Spitch out at the top. Braking down to second. Keeping it tight. This has got an adverse camber which rolls away into that big grass bank. This one always catches you out because you're so pleased that you managed to get around the first left hander. You miss your braking point and end up down there. But I'm a professional, I tell you. As he goes sideways over the uh, over the bump at the end of the corner. Okay, this one braking, lazy braking down to third. Just let him roll in. Gonna go for second. No. Back down to third. And that's it. We didn't crash. My god! <laughs> I don't know what happened. Jim bamboozled the car. Right anyway, adios. Links in the description below. I can never find the F9 key. Press them all. Oh. I'll tell you what, this new NVIDIA thing is terrible. Stop the recording. Stop, I say. Alright, oh, let's try it this way. Bear with me, people. Can't look at glasses on. Oh dear me. Record. Can we stop? Bye.